congrats on the film. Thank you, thanks. I was just talking to Christy about how it, it was quite an, ex, quite an experience in amongst all these big superhero movies. I think yours was the one that kind of had me like this. Good. The most. Yeah, <laughs> you need superhero movies. <laughs> Obviously, I know this is a very personal story to you in, in many ways, but the, the thought of doing it in one shot is, is f I guess for an audience member, kind of crazy. It must have been quite crazy for you, but what made you want to, to tell it in this way? What did you think that that would bring to... To the screen. Well, I suppose as soon as I thought it's two hours of real time, um, almost immediately I thought, what, what if we just didn't cut? Because I wanted, to, you know, to observe it more, almost like a ticking clock thriller, you know, than than a conventional war movie. And in that regard, it's not a conventional war movie. There's very little combat, you know, very little bloodshed. Um, and I thought I, I felt I wanted to lock the audience into this journey in a way that they felt begin to realise you can't get out of. Um, you know that feeling that comes with the single shot of I know I'm going to have to go around that next corner, even though I'm terrified of what's around that next corner. There's no way of not going around the next corner. You know, so that those um, those are the reasons. And then there's an element of challenge. You know, and. Um, that I knew that I wanted people to come and see this on the big screen and that perhaps it may not be a, even though it's technically incredibly difficult, it may not be a bad thing to make it simply different from any other film. Um, if we could do that and if we could do that in a way that didn't seem gimmicky um, but se seemed integral to the story and, and, and the way we wanted to tell it. Do you think you'd be able to, you would have been able to do this pre-doing the big movies such as James Bond, do you think after doing, say, American Beauty and all those things, mm. do you think you would have been able to do this, or do you think after the experiences of doing such big movies like the Bond movies, that it kind of put you in good stead in some, some way? I, I don't think I would have been able to do it without doing... You know, I think each each movie, hopefully, you make is a sort of, you know, a, 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 a summation of what you've done before. But I think working on that kind of scale, as I did with the Bond movies, also the long... Uh, unbroken shot at the beginning of Spectre it gave me a bit of a flavour for it, you, you know, and also learning by your own mistakes. I've done long shots in other movies that I've ended up cutting out because there wasn't enough information in them, there wasn't enough going on. It didn't need to be like that, it was imposed. So I felt like I now understand that you, you need to make it impossible to tell the story in any other way and only then can you do it. You can't impose it on something else. So you have to write it with that in mind. So all those things I learned from, from doing movies on a bigger scale and, and making mistakes. In terms of the, the writing, obviously, I mean, I was just saying to Christy that the spectacle and the way that you shoot it is, is a big kind of cinema experience, but unless the core of it is, mm. is as powerful as it is in the, in the movie, in this story of friendship, it, you know, it just becomes a gimmick. How important was it for you to kind of marry those kind of perfectly so that everything kind of came together? Yeah, exactly as you say. It's just it's crucial. If you don't care about the characters and it's just a hollow technical exercise, you know, the most important thing is that you 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 care about them, you empathize with them, you have a connection with them, you feel somehow you care about them. And sometimes those things um, are difficult to sum up exactly why you do. It's a mixture of performance, obviously the actors themselves and and the roles and the way that the story is being told. But without that direct emotional connection, you know, it's just going to feel um, distancing, you know, and I think also, you know, this war can seem very distant. The Great War, the First World War, can seem very um, almost pointless uh, to, to tell stories over and over about this this war. Uh, but I felt there was another kind of story to be told that had it was more of a worm's eye view, but also. Uh, through the keyhole of these two men's experience, you could see some of the vastness through this journey that they take through a land that's suddenly been abandoned. Some of the vastness of the scale of the war you can begin to understand in a way that perhaps you wouldn't with a more conventional story about it. And just finally, I, I said this to Christy as well about how this is a great kind of history lesson for younger audiences who are still learning about the war and history and everything else, but it's still quite prevalent in its themes of, you know, uniting Europe and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Are you hopeful that it, it serves that purpose as well as being a big screen event? Yeah, you want people to remember the fallen of the First World War, uh, but you don't want it to feel like a dry history lesson. You don't want it to feel like, you know, it's an eat your peas movie where, you know, you, it's good for you to watch this movie. Um, nobody wants to be lectured to or, 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 or taught a lesson by a film. You want to go and be transported, you know, and to that end, we've made it in a way that hopefully feels like it could have happened yesterday. And it's got all the contemporary bells and whistles of cinema now, the way that we've shot it, the way that we've used 
music and sound and you know I implore people if they are interested in the film to not wait until it's on their tele television set but to come to a movie theatre to see it because it's a whole different experience it's a very I hope immersive and experiential film that um, delivers something that only cinema can deliver absolutely absolute pleasure talking to you thank you so much for your time thank you, thank you. thanks so Cheers. much thank you ladies and gentlemen you're watching hey you guys hey you guys huh hey you guys, is yeah. that from the goonies it is indeed, yeah. nice hey you guys